since you're not gonna ask me, I'm gonna tell you which one is my. <laughs> <laughs> which one? Wait, let me ask you. Let me no, ask it's you. fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. In today's video, we are talking about the top five favorite towns for families in Rhode Island all around. What that means um, and uh, and much more, we're gonna find out in today's video. Before we get into that, my name is Albert. I'm a real estate agent with Home Smart Professionals and team leader at the Hydar Group. This is Serena, uh, our team manager. Uh, Serena has done most of the research for this as always, but without any further ado, let's get into the top five towns. So we're gonna start with Lincoln, Rhode Island. That is number five. The median single family home price in the last 12 months, so the past year in Lincoln, is $403,242. Okay. Uh, property tax rate's a little high at $20.14. Not a little high, it's high. The median age of the population in Lincoln is 43 years old and population is 22,357 people. Uh, unemployment rate in Lincoln is 6.5% and the median household income, $81,045. The public school system in Lincoln, so all five of our top five favorite towns for families in Rhode Island have great public school ratings. Okay. Lincoln is number eight out of 37 public school systems in Rhode Island. Uh, their top elementary school receives an A- minus on Niche.com. Their middle school, a B, and their high school received an A. So those are great ratings. Absolutely. Um, Lincoln is a quiet town with a lot of great neighborhoods and great proximity to buzz when you want it. Uh, it's 15 minutes from the capital city, Providence. It's home to Lincoln Woods State Park, which is fun for the whole family. And there's also Twin River Casino weekend fun for parents. Uh, so there's there's a little bit going on in the town. It is quieter there. Mm -hmm. um, it's a great suburban town. And it's nearby to Providence, nearby to a lot. Great, great town. Yeah. On to number it's definitely, four. Definitely one of my favorite towns in Rhode Island. Number four, Cumberland. Cumberland is a it's Cumberland is a very interesting uh, town for Rhode Island because it feels more of like a Massachusetts town, but then you when you actually start looking into it, it's really not. Median single family home prices in the last 12 months was $375,000. Property tax rate is $14.32, one of the lower ones in Rhode Island. Mm -hmm. uh, median age of the population is 45 years. Unemployment rate, 6.1%. Uh, the median household income is 74,499. The median household income in Rhode Island is 71,169, so it's higher. Actually, what I noticed is that all of these top towns uh, that will be picked here have a higher median income than mm -hmm. the, the me median income uh, overall in Rhode Island. So that's pretty Some cool. Some of them far higher. <laughs> Some of them far higher, which we're getting there. Population, 33,512. Public school system rating 7 out of 37 public school systems in Rhode Island. Their elementary and middle schools are graded A's and their high schools are A-. minus. These are great ratings. The town of Cumberland has tons of great neighborhoods and is quieter. It is a quieter town in no Northern Rhode Island. It is located conveniently to Southern Massachusetts. So it is a great option for families looking to move to uh, Massachusetts and Rhode Island for a better uh, bang for their buck. It is very popular for people who live mm -hmm. and work in Massachusetts and also Boston and, and try to move to Cumberland because of that reason. Especially it that is, Attleboro area of people. I feel like a lot of people from yeah, Attleboro, yeah. Foxborough, a lot of people, yeah. that area, they come down to Cumberland. Absolutely. Just because of how, how it's located. And mm -hmm. that's why I said it has like that Massachusetts feel. It is also located within 15 minutes of Providence and it has a uh, local vineyard in town for, for you parents out there. You're trying to have a some weekend know, fun, a little wild weekend. <laughs> I mean, it's overall it's a it's a great town, great town. and it is number four on our top five mm -hmm. list for families. All right, so number three is South Kingston. South Kingston. It's median single family home price for the last year is four fifty nine thousand four fifty four, mm -hmm. so not too bad. The property tax rate is one of the lower ones at fourteen dollars and forty five cents. The median household income eighty nine thousand nine hundred seventeen dollars. Population is about thirty thousand people, so it's a little higher than some of the other towns. The unemployment rate five point seven percent, and the median age of population, which is really interesting, yeah, is that was a, this was a surprise to me yeah it's 36 years old if you if you'd asked to guess if you'd asked me to guess i probably would have said 
about 55. 48, 55. <laughs> it just kind of has that feel of more like a retiree type of town. But um, data doesn't lie. So. so, yeah, 36 years old, while the average for the other four is probably around 45. So yeah. that's a big difference. So it's, is it the youngest town on the list? It is, yep. Oh, cool. Public school system rating number nine out of the 37 uh, public school systems in RI. Mm-hmm. And the town's top elementary, middle, and high schools all have A- minus rankings. So South Kingston, it's located in the South County area of Rhode Island. The town is an awesome place for people who love the summer. It's pretty much a dream to be located in dirt to be located in during the summertime and there's fun for everyone in the family in town and nearby year round Uh, there are lots of quaint shops cafes restaurants you're also you know a stone's throw away from the rest of south county and what that they have to offer like narragansett exeter westerly you're actually obligated it's uh it's you sign a um an addendum (laughs) if you move to uh, south kingston that you it's a it's a uh must have fun addendum that they sign Mm. <laughs> I'm kidding. And with that, we go to town number two. Mm-hmm. One of my favorite towns. I have a lot of friends there. East Greenwich. East Greenwich is one of the top towns in Rhode Island for a lot of reasons. So let's just get into most it. Most right? expensive. It is prob- no, It's not the most. Out of this list. Sorry. Out, oh, yeah. Out yeah. of this list. Out of this list. It's definitely the most expensive. Pretty much on everything you can think of. Median single family home prices in East Greenwich for the last 12 months was $629,000. The property tax rate, which is definitely one of the highest, not only on this list, but one of the highest in Rhode Island, is $23.43. Median age of population is 45 years, so it's a little older. It's definitely a family town. Unemployment rate, 5.7%. The median household income is 92727 So it's definitely, if not the highest in Rhode Island, is one of the highest for as far as the median goes Barrington's um, is higher but yeah Barrington's is slightly higher but it's definitely up there it's one of the mm-hmm. highest uh, population 13,146 public school system rating two out of 37 that's Number really two. good yeah it is um it's known it's known for silver metal it's known for school systems most people decide to move to East Greenwich because of the schools they are willing to pay the taxes they're willing to pay the property ta- uh, the property taxes mm-hmm. uh, just because of how good the education system is high schools are graded a plus and middle schools are graded a uh, no school received less than an a in East Greenwich that's really important I'm gonna mm-hmm. repeat that not one school has received less than an a grading in East Greenwich so it's definitely definitely a great town uh, for schools East Greenwich is a vibrant town of the water that's really that's the my favorite part yeah. <laughs> about East Greenwich is that it's not just, you know, a, a good school town, but it's really fun during the summer. It's on the water, west of the Narragansett Bay. It is perfect for young families who can afford uh, the home prices and taxes. There are tons of waterside restaurants, shops, and cafes in the town center. There is a great state park with tons of fun for the families uh, located here. We actually have a blog uh, post on our website on the top state parks in Rhode Island, and we mm-hmm. cover we cover that here so you definitely uh, should check it out and it's just an all-around great place to be uh, located 25 minutes from the capital city providence but there is so much more uh, to do here that you don't need to go to providence very often it's true it really is i mean people from providence will go to east greenwich in the summer main street itself is just a super fun and vibrant street during the summer even during the winter there's top-notch restaurants italian restaurants a uh, good Indian restaurant, uh, sushi, uh, nice coffee shops. It's just overall a great, fun, uh, fun time. Mm-hmm. One of my favorite cigar places in East, is in East Greenwich. <laughs> uh, just overall a really, really fun town. Yeah, East Greenwich is great. Yeah. But that leads us to the number one. Number one town. And the number one town is Barrington. Barrington, it's, Rhode Island. It's located in my favorite area of Rhode Island, which is the East Bay. $522,576 is the median single family home price in the last 12 months. Mm-hmm. So that would be the second priciest on our list. The property tax rate is $20.90. The median age of the population is 44 years old in Barrington. The population itself is 16,310 people. Mm-hmm. Um, median household income is our highest at $125,431, yeah. this, this which makes be- sense. This this got to be the highest in Rhode Island. And then the unemployment rate is 5.9%. So 
Barrington is rated the number one public school system in Rhode Island. It's got A pluses for the elementary and high schools, and the, uh, the middle the middle school gets an A. Uh, no school in this town grades under an A. Again, just like East Greenwich, it's well known for the public school system. I know a lot of people who would move there when they have kids who ter- who are entering grade age just so that their kids can go to school in Barrington and then they'll, you know, they'll eat the tax, uh, mm-hmm. the high taxes for a Absolutely. little while and then uh, move out once their kids are, are done with school. Barrington, located in the East Bay, one of our favorite towns in Rhode Island. We're biased toward the East Bay over the West. We don't spend as much time in, you know, places like South Kingston or uh, even I don't spend much time in East Greenwich. He does, but... I love the East Bay, um, Barrington, Warren, Bristol, all beautiful places. Um, the taxes are high here, but it's well worth it. If you can afford to live here, if you have a lot of money, there is so much that you can do in Barrington. There are beautiful, beautiful houses, like huge houses on the water. Mm -hmm. Um, there's also just really lovely neighborhoods with, with nice houses, uh, all over the place in Barrington. Uh, There's not really anywhere that's not a great neighborhood 100 um, aside from the school system being fantastic the town also has a great little town center with shops restaurants and more the town really truly cares about its residents i worked in barrington for a while i managed a bar there for a couple of years shout out to east bay oyster bar so i know the town pretty well it's always looking really nice Every season, they keep it decorated throughout the year. Either they have, you know, flowers up on the posts during the summer yep. and spring, winter Christmas decorations during the winter time, um, and it just looks great. When you drive up the Wampanoag Trail through Barrington, it's always a pleasure uh, to see what they're doing uh, that time of year. Mm-hmm. And, you know, there's a beach in Barrington. The East Bay bike path runs through the town up to Bristol and down to Providence. Uh, you have access to all of the trendy new restaurants, shops, bars, and cafes in Waterside Warren. Uh, two minutes away, as well as beautiful Bristol, about 10 minutes away. And um, yes, I was going to add something to that, right? Because you said there's a lot to do in Barrington. Mm -hmm. And I knew this, what you meant. People might think that you, when you said that you meant that there's, uh, there's a lot to do in the town of Barrington, Mm -hmm. in my opinion, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think there's a lot to do in the town of Barrington itself. Right. There's not a lot of restaurants. No, like there's not a big variety of restaurants and things like that. Like compared to, for example, East Greenwich. But the good news is that you can live in Barrington and enjoy uh, the restaurants and the things that there are to do in Bristol Mm -hmm. and Warren, Rhode Island, which is in Providence. You have a lot of restaurants, beaches, uh, festivals during the summer, parks. Uh, so, so that's, Weekend that's, events. yeah, that's a, exactly, that's the cool part about, you know, yeah. Barrington. Well, that's the best part about Barrington. It's the location, um, yeah. which is, if I said that there's a lot to do there, I, I meant that there's a lot to do if you live there. If you live in Barrington, it, it doesn't get more like t- towny, like enjoying your town, staying in, you find that you would stay in the town a lot more than you think because yeah. there is plenty for the people that live there. It's mm-hmm. not a destination for other people to go to. And that might be the best part about Barrington. Yeah, no, because people you, live there. you get to enjoy it yeah. and you don't have to. No, but that's you know, the whole point. People yeah. who live there are willing to put up with higher taxes yes. and everything mm-hmm. because of that. So like, keep in mind, you move to Barrington. The main reason, well, a couple of main reasons, right? Great schools uh, and great neighborhoods. Everything, everything is awesome. But, People who move there proudly take care of that town. Everything is a certain way. Mm -hmm. Restaurants close at a certain time. So that's Mm -hmm. why you're moving there for the quality of life. Yes. And then you could just, the good news is that you have party towns and cities really close by. So that's. You know, so that's you're really literally it. 10 minutes from Providence. It's yep. you, you can't get a better town closer to so much mm-hmm. variety. Uh, I, that's why I love Barrington because you're there. You drive 10 minutes to Providence. You drive two minutes to Warren. You drive 10 minutes to Bristol. Yeah. You're, you're super close it's, to everything. It's fun. It's and then fun. you have your own beautiful town to come back to and relax and enjoy. That's the top town for families in Rhode Island, our top favorite town for yeah, families. So, so in Rhode top Island. town as far as families goes and also top town with uh, median household income. I actually looked up Newport. It's much lower. Actually, oh, Newport wow. is lower than the top five you know towns what? that we have here. That makes sense. Though, yeah, because 
Yeah. Because it's more of a vacation yeah. second home uh, yeah. area. And I think it's actually the only town that has a six figure median household income yeah, it's high. Uh, uh, in the state. Everything else is much lower. All right. So before we wrap this up, which one is your favorite town here? Is that obvious? <laughs> I it's know. Barrington. It's Barrington. Okay. <laughs> I love the East Bay. I'm from yeah. Seekonk. I I lived right next yeah. to the East Bay my whole life. I'm an East Bay girl. There's West Bayers and there's East Bayers, and right. I'm definitely not a West Bayer. There's people like me who are just here. Yeah. <laughs> Since you're not gonna ask me, I'm gonna tell you which one is my. <laughs> <laughs> which one? Wait, let me ask you. Let me. No, ask that's you. fine. That's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Um, so thanks for asking. My favorite town <laughs> out of these five towns is East Greenwich. Um, I like going there. I like having a good time there. I knew and that. And the summer, it's it's a it's a lot of fun. And then uh, you know it's just close to Newport. Yeah. Like I, I really like being there. Like that the cigar place. Um, what is it called? My God. I just don't think uh, there's as quality of fun in East Greenwich as there is in the areas around. You know. Yeah. This Barrington. it's it's Warren it's different. So cool. It's different. East but, Greenwich um, is like. All right. Well, you can't shit on East Greenwich now you know what I I'm mean I'm not shitting on East Greenwich I just I, you, don't you want us to be honest for your podcast yeah I do uh, I'm kidding but no I, I yeah it's it's different they're just different animals yeah um, also different towns <laughs> that's true <laughs> all right guys so this is it for this video these are the top five favorite towns in Rhode Island uh, all around um, I hope you found some value in this. If you did, hit subscribe. We post videos like this all the time. If you have any more questions regarding these towns, if you're looking to move to any of these towns, don't hesitate to reach out to us. Uh, we specialize on, on finding uh, you know beautiful single families for especially people who live out of state. Mm -hmm. um, either East Bay, the Bristol County is our main area of mm -hmm. focus. Although I like to party in East Providence Greenwich. County. And Providence County, yeah. yeah. Although I, I like to party in East Greenwich, but I like to <laughs> sell real estate in um, in Barrington and Bristol and Warren and, and, East, Providence. and East Providence. And we love some, East Providence too. I wanted yes. it to make the list, but this um, this the, the school district's just not great. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna we're gonna make um, we're gonna make another video of the worst school districts, and we hope it doesn't make the list there too. But yeah, we'll see. It might. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, this is it. Thank you for watching. Until the next video, we'll see you.